Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return worth having. When we think about doing these things, we are always thinking about what it is that I need to do to keep my living body okay in the world. You see, as we age and as we continue to have our cellular health decay, which is a natural process of the human body, we aren't really thinking about what God does for us through that process. What is truthful is that we sort of start to lose energy. What is truthful is that we start to lose some strength. What is truthful is that we start to maybe not be able to sleep as long. And what is also truthful is that we might not even remember what we did in the middle of the night. And that is truthful. What I'm talking about, of course, are the simple aspects of being a living being. And a part of being a living being is pretty straightforward. We all have to literally sleep, eat, poop, and, well, have a little bit of love time with someone that's special, and eventually do something that's self-actualization. And that we know is Maslow's hierarchy of needs that has been pretty well accepted across the psychology spectrum. But what I'm really talking about is the concept of eating. And I can take it in from this way or any other way, but the bottom line is America produces food practically for the world. Now when we think about this concept of America producing food for the world, what do you think the most important things are in American culture, American society, and American business? It's a gross natural product of food. Oranges from Florida, right? Grapefruit from wherever that heck that comes from. And things like that that get exported throughout the world our meats, our chicken, our fisheries, our vegetable gardens, our apple orchards are all important to feeding the world. What gets very discouraging is what we see what happens through restaurants. That restaurants often produce food in bulk so that they can serve quickly a lot of people that come in and eat. What certain restaurants do with their food once it quote unquote times out for the sanitation aspects of being sold in a restaurant is very interesting. In a time of COVID, a lot of it unfortunately has to be thrown away. In a time of epidemic or pandemic, it is very possible that it's provided that as long as it's clean food, that it could be set aside in special bins and separated out to provide food back to the sources of which food come from. If you really think about it, certain animals can eat chicken. Certain animals can eat pork. Certain animals can eat steak. Certain animals can eat grains, rices, potatoes, vegetables, and things like this. Leftover salad is important. What I really feel is that restaurants and other places that handle food need to start recycling in a better way. They need to start taking the food that is cooked and that is not usable by a client and putting them into separating buckets for the end of the night. Most restaurants will not fill a bucket if it is separated carefully that way. If all meats are put in a bucket that something like pickles comes in from, the pickle juice is plenty, plenty of preservative and it's clean enough to put that meat inside there. Those meats could be taken off to our zoos and literally the meats could be fed to a tiger, a living being of sorts. Our breads literally can be put into a fishery or could be put into a aviary or someplace like that where the living creatures that provide us food will get benefit of that. Our vegetables and things like this could be given to our hogs who literally love to eat those things, I'm pretty sure, based on what I've seen of how those creatures are cared for in animal husbandry. What we do for horses or other things I don't know because they don't produce a meat for us in this nation. They do produce meat in other nations. There's horse being served as sushi in other places in the world, but that's just what I know. We don't thankfully eat dogs and cats as some other third world nations have lived to do, but that's because we're not impoverished as a nation. But we do put a lot of absurd, well capable, easy to use food in our trash cans. And that fills our landfills, which is not marvelous. It creates disease, it creates worms, it creates all kinds of maggots and other things that we don't really need to have in our earth. Creating manure is a lot better for us because we know that if it's handled properly, handled carefully, it can be utilized to help fertilize the earth of creating new and improved grains, new improved corn, new improved soybeans, new improved other things that the Midwest is notorious for making. 
So when I'm talking about the concept of food, I'm talking about it pisses me off that I go behind a trash can of a restaurant and I find 30 to 50 or more or less, depending on the night, depending on how busy they are, loaves of bread that I thought, gosh, if you just put the expired bread into a plastic bag with nothing else in it, no soda pop cans, no nothing like that, no plastic gloves of handling food, you would have clean food that could be donated to shelters or to the elderly or to places that serve veterans who are in struggle and poverty. You see, there's plenty of places to get these things is absolutely true. And if one organization simply picked up one item like that from different places that were loving and kind and held the food in the appropriate recycling manner, we'd do a lot better. The truth is I produced a little graphic that I feel is important for our neighborhoods. That if we all started to recycle our food into plastic containers or plastic buckets so that we just filled up the same kind of food every way and then at the end of the week we would take out to the same colored plastic containers the different foods and we'd put our bottles with our bottles and our cans, soda pop cans with our soda pop cans and if we put our metals that are not quite the same aluminum in a different bin and our woods in a bin or in a place that could be they could be used to recycle and make new furniture or if we take our fruits that are left over and starting to truly expire and mold and put them into a place the hogs could probably eat them again I'm not an expert in these things but some of that stuff can be washed off and utilized just fine in life we have moments of time to speak the truth of the world and the truth is at some point we're gonna run out of soil not at all but we may run out of the ability to have water we may have run out of the ability to have safe sunshine you never know what's gonna happen in the future what I think is that we can start recycling easily now. What I think is we have to start recycling now. Otherwise, our landfills will be so filled with crap and poorly mixed together that nothing will make sense in the future in terms of building on our lands.